Hello everybody, welcome back to Windy Windy West Manitoba. Today we're doing something a little on the permaculture side of things. So yeah, normally that would be on the farm channel, but um, I promised it on this channel, so I'm delivering it on this channel. These goji berries have been here since our first summer we moved in. I put them in the wrong place. They do not get anywhere near enough sun. They have grown, but they're not producing fruit. Today we're gonna finally move them to a couple of spots up front. They're going to get basically twice as much sun and we might finally start to get some fruit. So these gojis have had a little bit of time to settle in from what I can see. And it looks like they're kind of spreading out a little bit. We may even have the opportunity to split this up into more plantings than just the two we have right now. Because there's potentially two here. I'm looking at some very thick stalks. When we get this out of the ground... Um, I'll be very curious to see just how many plantings I can get out of this in the long run. So um, <laughs> when we planted this in the ground, it was in a three gallon bucket. Oh, that's still nice and soft. Doesn't feel like I cut through anything rootish there. I have no idea how far outward the roots from this may have grown, but it uh, kind of seems like it's gonna live fairly freely for us here. Excuse me as I cut across. Huh. I'm not feeling a lot of root resistance here at all. Oh, cut through a couple there. Okay. We'll get back to it, I think, once we have this out of the ground and we can see what our roots look like. Seems like what we are uncovering here, I mean, it looks like the goji roots kind of went down more than anything else. There seems to be a little bit of headed this way. But as Shocks pointed out I to me, get your headed that way. <laughs> that way, um, as Shocks pointed out to me, that's kind of the lay of the land and how the water rolls off away from the house. So, yeah, it's taking a little longer to get this out than we expected, but we will get it done. So after much digging and consideration, pondering and such, I've decided the best way to go with this is probably bare hands. I suppose some would say gloves, but. I'm a child, I like to play in the dirt. We can see several of these gojis are prepared to be planted as their own thing. I could plant this as a single bush if I wanted to. It'll branch out, become more. But uh, I'll probably give that friends, we'll see. Back to it. All right, well. We got this out of the ground. We ended up losing rather a lot of some very deep roots. So I suspect we may have gojis coming back in the future. No big deal. Nice looking earthworm going through there. You see that beauty? <laughs> All right. Because we lost so many of those beautiful deep water sucking roots from these gojis, I'm taking off probably two thirds of the top of this thing. They are pretty tall right now. That's a lot of uh, plant for it to try and support. So, as cruel as it feels, and it does feel pretty cruel, y'all. This thing has worked hard to get where it is. Trimming it back is reckless disabandon. Cruel. We'll leave a couple long ones. Nope. That is... That. Oh my that goodness. is still significantly larger than when we planted it moving in here, so... I have faith that this will live. Time to move this project up front. You may notice the haunting sounds of a ghost dog in the background of the video. We are getting him all practiced up. He's rehearsing. We're hoping to rent him out for Halloween. Let us know just how scary that evil ghost dog howl is. Anyway, Shox here has been chomping at the bit, literally, to come up here and dig the hole that we're planting this goji bush into. So she gets the uh, Spirit of the Spade Award. And what can I say? If she wants to dig it, she can dig it. I like to dig. Dig it. Um, do we need to go a little bit bigger around or just deeper, do you think? Um, 
This is like one by one almost. I would take it a little bit bigger around and yeah, a little bit deeper and I gotta go get some of that compost. All right, everybody, don't get into a panic. I am using compost from the landscaping pile, but you know what, it's pretty decent stuff. We haven't gotten any fruit out of that yet. I figure it's gonna be at least another year before we do. I'm calling that a minimal risk situation. So yeah, I'm getting compost. The woman's digging a hole. So what we've got here, is a lovely hole probably 18 by 12 by maybe 21 we filled up probably the bottom six inches or so of this with uh, we'll call it really rough compost and we're just going to backfill it now so nothing too complicated to that you've all seen it before yeah dump <laughs> anyway We'll show you what it looks like once this is all filled back in. All right, so just gonna throw a little bit more of this rough compost on here. Onion peel. Arr, I said it was rough. As a bit of a top dressing in the, uh, the no-till, no-dig fashion. Yeah, yeah. But what's important here is that we're building up some good nutrients. The worms are gonna come up through this. They're gonna eat that. They're gonna take their castings down into the soil. They're gonna give this a much needed boost. And what's great about the location of this particular berry bush, especially since those roots went so deep, this is one of the places in the yard that tends to flood in the spring. Now we've got something that's gonna be producing deep root channels, that water is gonna flow down easier, and it's gonna get drank up faster. So, all right, we need to get on that other goji bush. All right, I have to say, digging up this second goji bush is going a lot better, but now I know what I'm looking for, right? The roots aren't going around, the roots are going down so with shocks handy dandy on the cam we're going to show you just kind of how we're bringing this up the neighborhood's really active today it's a nice day what do you do all right let's check out the roots on these go go goji berries all i'm doing here is really just kind of bouncing it up taking the soil out from underneath it filling the previous hole these are uh, some that are going to get put aside for a third planting location I figure any of the smaller ones that come off of this in that same kind of root division manner, well, clearly they don't want to be with the mama plant no more. They can go off and uh, we'll put them in the next berry batch. Definitely going to have to cut this down, but I've also decided since I'm cutting off so many delightful young fresh shoots, I might as well try cloning up 18, 36, however many goji berries I can stuff into that little planter, right? Because why not? It's a good thing we have definitive plants to plant this. I was just saying to Shocks, this is the kind of root system you dig up, you put a crystal ball or something in there, you plant in it, or you like, you let it dry nice and tight around it, steam it in, sell it on the internet for a thousand dollars as a custom made staff. But we do have, even though this came up so nice, a few that are ready to go off on their own. So they're gonna join that small planting. Mm -hmm. But most of this stayed intact, so I don't think I'm going to have to cut it down anywhere near as short as the previous bush. I am going to look for a few more of those offshoots, though, just so we have a slightly larger, well, third goji patch. So in the end, we've decided we are going to cut this one down to about the same height as the neighboring goji. And as it turns out so often on the Bear Residence, we have an accidental experiment going on here. Let's take a look down at the base of the second one and I'll show you. For aesthetic reasons, we decided to pull this one up after we had it planted and then replant it. So it was kind of growing in a bit of a row. But unfortunately, that means that our compost mulch that was supposed to be on top and bottom only is now thoroughly mixed through this. So as time goes by, we're gonna get to see if there's any real difference with mixing the mulch into the soil for this goji plant or layering the mulch and soil for this goji plant. So that's going to be accidentally interesting. Like so many things that, I, well, happen in my garden and so many of these learning opportunities, I really do just sort of stumble into them. But that's kind of what keeps life interesting and keeps me on the, um, oh, what's the best way to put this? Safer side of insane. And on that note, thank you guys so much for joining me today as I'm mucking about with these go-go goji berries. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.